he was setting up a camcorder, but... Ooh, banjo! Okay. So it was the third mix-up. Yep, I'm telling you, man. One of the three will happen. And we all know Tater, he uses, you know, the yeah. uh, Koopa, so... Elegant, question mark, question mark, question mark. That's, uh... Tater is going as Elegant's main. Yeah. And I wonder if Elegant will come in as Tater's main. But anyways, <laughs> right back into the match. No more pauses here. Let's get into it. Banjo versus the Koopaling. Strings from Tater and Nader already up to 60%. Yep. 70 now. He's already used f his first Wonder Wing to get back on the stage for this stock. Yeah, and that was a good punish from Tater there because he knew once he got the up B, he was actually able to punish the end line of Wonder Wing. Yeah, Yoshi. Yo Yoshiller. Again? Yep, he tried the same tactic here. Yeah, Yoshiller has three Wonder Wings left, but it just seems like he hasn't been able to play the game since Taternator got him off stage the first time. That should kill, I believe. Yep. Yep. Rapid Jab from uh, Junior is a very good kill option for this character. Very low lag. Yep. And it's got that uppercut that finally finishes it off, man. It tops it all off. Great Ooh. use of the he was grenade. Searching. He was searching right there. You know that. Back throw, yep. Comes the grenade. Oh, good setup there. No follow-up. A little bit off the mark there. He's kind of pulling out those punches a little bit early with the forward smash. That's the big deal here. If he would have waited for a hot second, he might have gotten Tedder in a little bit of a slip-up. Right. There's a forward air. Get him off the stage. So that forward air did connect, but that's how you know that he wants the kill really badly. Yeah. He traveled from almost all the way across stage to get that forward air. He traveled across the stage here with oh, Wonder yeah. Wing, and all he got was a forward smash. Yeah, that was his second window Wonder Wing. He has three left in case, uh, in case you missed that. Side B. One of the things that Bowser Jr. is able to actually do is use that side B to kind of, kind of break the zone and come right into the opponent's face. Oh, he got caught. The uh, Banjo down tilt mm -hmm. actually does cross up on shield if you uh, hit him with a point blank. Yep. Tater getting crossed up by that, but he uses his third Wonder Wing. Not only does it cross up on shield if you get a point blank, but it also is a really good low profile to actually punish opponents with moves that have those hitboxes that come out a little bit more above. Alright, this is big for Tater right now. Should be able to get a lot of damage, and that he does. Very nice. Nice. Yeah, Yoshiller Yo kind of abandoning a game plan here. You're not seeing him use the grenade and oh. the, uh, the neutral beat quite as much as he was. He wants to go in. He wants to uh, He wants to even this up as soon as possible. But yeah. Tater is not letting that happen right now. His composure is perfect right now. And he knows if I give Banjo and Kazooie a mile, they'll take definitely a whole... 10 miles at this point, because that's how much the character loves to travel. Oh, that was very close, but even at that percent, it wouldn't have killed, so I'm curious about why he picked that option there. Oh, that's really good, using the Mecha Koopa here to actually kind of cover that space, and then lead Ooh, in punish. with it, forward smash, and that's going to be a punish. Yep, but you can, of course, punish the ending lag of Wonder Wing, or you yeah. can grab them out of it. Anything else, not so much, but those two options are always going to work. And uh, Taternator, obviously knowing that, Gets the punish, takes game one. Yeah. And will we see the resolution of this mix-up in which Yoshiller plays, in fact, Yoshi or Link? Or will he stick with the banjo? Opinions? You know what? I feel like he... So it's, it's kind of difficult, too, because like that's one of the things Sato did was that he made sure he was extra close to Yoshiller. He didn't want yeah. to give him that opportunity, like you said, set up the eggs. He well, didn't want to I, give him that. You know, I think it was actually the other way around, right? Yoshiller was going after Tater. Yeah. He flipped the script on him from his original game plan, and he just kind of got lost in that. He yeah. got lost in Tater being able to run away and him having to be the one that chases him down. So he kind of... He kind of got his game plan jacked. He got it taken away from him and used against him. Yeah. But um, that might be something that he's thinking about right now. He's obviously making the switch to Yoshi here. I mean, as that's we can why see. Luigi wears the L on the cap, man. He either gives you the L or he gets the L. And so far, I see Tater out here giving L's. Can't argue with that. Yeah. All right. Uh, Battlefield version of uh, Castlevania right now. But, you know, Tater already starting strong. But. That is it. That is going to be a big thing for Yoshiller right now. That neutral air is a very good combo breaker for Yoshi. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for K Tater to get those long strings that he was able to get on Banjo and Kazooie. Nice one more nair. 
looks for that space in there, and I think he yeah, wanted to punish that side. That was heat. no fear. He was expecting him to jump out of it, do the safe option, but Tater just completely called him out on that, and that yeah. was uh, that was all she wrote. As we see that uh, that hammer swing. Ooh, that a little bit of snake tricks right there. Uh, waiting for that Mecha Koopa to explode and getting a follow up off of it. Wow! Oh, what a conversion! No fear. Yeah, very smart by Yoshiller going for the safe recovery instead of trying to challenge the uh, the hammer swing. Back air, nice. Sets up there with the egg. Kind of sets up that little bit of option to cover the high recovery. Yeah, I just don't get it. He had Tater in an unfavorable position, shielding on the platform, but he uh, he backed off instead of continuing the pressure. And he might be he might be thinking about how much that's going to cost him as Tater has him off stage right now. Yeah. He's doing a really good job of trying to pressure Tater on those platforms, and it's really good, right? You don't want to let him come back on the stage. We can set up things like Mecha Koopa at the side B. Start playing a little bit more neutral here. So kind of keep him off the stage. That's really Yoshino's plan here. Yeah. Catches the landing with the, the up smash. This is the, this is the start, man. That was a really scary situation. Yoshi obviously cannot get shield poked. But um, if he wears it down, man, it's, uh, it's a spooky situation. Much like Nightmare on Smashville. Yeah. Um, Man, the real nightmare is we actually all used to always pick that stage. Now it's PS. <laughs> Smash four. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, wow, very nice tech chase. Oh, and he has him off stage. Ooh, very close, very close for Yoshiller, almost evening it up right away. But the oh. hammer swing can't avoid that one, man. That's gonna take his second stock, and now it's looking a little bit dire for him right now. But less so as he gets Tater in this uh, in this juggle. Nice dash attack. Like I said, right, he's trying to make sure he doesn't let Tater get that landing here. And Yoshiller looking for the comeback, 111%. Yeah, they're it's uh, slowly they're coming. boxing in the air right now. Yep. So suddenly looking very doable for Yoshiller as long as he can get this stock. But oh. Tater, ooh, What a reversal. Close. Think about here in the air-to-air, -air, Yoshi does pretty well, right? Has those long-lasting hitbox from there. Yeah. The tail is disjointed, right, versus... It comes out, all of his hitboxes are very fast, too, yep. I believe, except for uh, back air and down air. Mm -hmm. Or forward air, of course. And even then, back air's got that little bit of a disjoint. All of ta Yoshi's yep. tail moves are disjointed. So in the air-to-air, -air, Yoshi's kind of the one winning the damage here. All right, Tater sees he has advantage. Why press forward, yep. right? Yep. My opponent must come to and me. And Tater knows that he's much less desperate. Yeah. He's using he's using the emotional tactic here. Yoshiller knows that he has to get the stock off as soon as possible. But if he forces that situation, he's only gonna make it worse for himself. Here comes Tater. Oh, he gets a uh, Oh Wow, so he gets away with it. Yeah. Uh, he did not get a chance to set up the cannonball there, and unfortunately he sent it in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Forward oh. smash, and he finishes yeah, it off right them. there at the I think the edge. Mecha Koopa probably scared him yeah. quite a bit. It was, you know, just walking back and forth. But, and you know, when you see that motion, yeah. it kind of it messes up your uh, your tempo because you're like, okay, I'm about to roll, but then, oh, no, where do I where do I go? The, this Koopa is going to be there when yeah. I get there. So where do I go? And but the thing, too, the thing is, too, is that Tater loves to use that option to kind of cover the tracks, right? We saw it right. earlier in the, one of the games. He was following Koopa, Mecha Koopa closely so that right. if Yoshiller exactly. did hit the Koopa, Tater had the reaction on deck like that. Yeah. So it was, just a, it was just a really good trap, really good trap by Taternator. Yeah, Taternator is ranked in SoCal, I believe he's.